Number 39. What is the half-life for the decomposition of O3 when the concentration of O3 is 2.35 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity? The rate constant for this second order reaction is 50.4 liters per mole per hour. Okay, so in essence, we have to find the half-life. Now a half-life is the, actually I'll say half-life, the half-life is the amount of time it takes for a substance to decompose or break down into 50%. So if you have eight slices of pizza and you eat four of them, and you only have four left, that's half, and if I eat it, the, the four slices of pizza in, I don't know, 20 seconds, that's the half-life. The half-life is always the amount of time it takes to go from a full amount down to just half the amount. So 100% down to 50%. As long as that decomposes, that's your half-life. And the half-life is denoted by this little T with a half as a subscript. Okay, now coming down here, there are different half-life equations depending on what is the order of your reaction. If it's zero order, or first order, or second order, that's going to change the half-life equation a little bit. So the first thing that you should do is find out what order we're dealing with. Now if I go back to the question, I do see that they said that this is going on for this second order reaction. So goodbye, goodbye, we're only dealing with this equation. So before I pull the second order equation up, if you want to pause the video and make sure that you write down these half-life equations, because you might have to use them on, their, on your test or quiz, but let's pull this up. Whee! That's the only one we're going to be using here, and the rest goes bye-bye. So now, we want to find out that half-life. Now for the second order half-life equation, it's 1 divided by your initial concentration. That's what the little a zero means. The zero means that it's um, uh, at zero time, initial. And they did say that the ozone, the O3 is decomposing, when you had the concentration of 2.35 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. So we know that that's how much we started with, 2.35 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. And that's going to be multiplied by the k value, which is the rate constant. Did they tell us that? Yeah, they said that the rate constant for this reaction is 50.4. Now they say that it's liter per mole per hour. Just know that liters per mole is the same thing as saying molarity to the minus one. So that's how these molarities cancel out. And then H is hour. Okay, so now we got everything. Let's solve for the half-life, T half equals 1 divided by those two values. So let's see, we got 2.35 times, oh boy. Let's maybe make this a little bit bigger. 2.35 times 10 to the negative 6 times 50.4. I guess we'll do the denominator first. 1 divided by 2.35 times 10 to the negative 6 Yep, that number looks good, times 50.4. Okay, so I get 1.1844 times 10 to the negative fourth, and now let's just do the division to get our half-life. One divided by this answer. And there we go. Looks like three sig figs, so maybe I'll say 8.44 times 10 to the one, two, three. Now, the unit here, 8,440, what? Seconds, minutes, hours, years, months? It has to be a unit of some time. But always go back to your rate constant to find out the time unit in there. In the time unit for the rate constant, it was H. H stands for hours. So this, in order for this ozone to break down, 8,440 hours will have to pass in order for the ozone to go from 100% of what it started with to 50%. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. 
Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 50. No, 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 no. 40,000 subscribers. But even still, I mean, any number, uh, you know, of support really means a lot to us. I can't believe we've, you know, this channel has, has made it this far, an educational channel. Um, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much for your support and for learning through these videos. Um, I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.